some point we decided to make a big root. These successful studios, I mean, one way you, you kind of show that success is you, you make a big version of your game. We took uh, an image of the map and we sent it to a carpet maker in New York. Unfortunately, it got lost in transit before it got here. And we decided on a bunch of cans of spray paint, heavy magic markers, and a couple big pieces of plywood. We're all tired and we were doodling on this board the night before PAX. Some guy came up to us and said, oh, it's awesome that you even made the board out of wood. And I said, yes, it is. <laughs> That's exactly what we were trying to do. My name is Patrick Leader. I am the owner and creative director of Leader Games, makers of Vast and Root. Hi, I'm Cole Worley. I'm the lead designer of Root. I helped with all the development. I did the graphic design, but not the illustration. Root is a asymmetric war game, and it's set in a forest, and anthropomorphic animals are fighting for control of the forest. Wargaming is its own little silo. Things that happen in war games don't tend to come out to other types of board games. And so what I've been wanting to do is introduce a wider audience of players to really interactive thematic games. Everybody plays by a slightly different uh, set of rules. The game has the Marquise, who has invaded the forest. The Eerie Dynasty has returned with their bird troops to, to uh, retake the forest. The Wooden Alliance is running an insurgency against them, and the back Vagabond is an adventurer who's just out for fame and fortune. The game produces really wonderful stories, so if you want a game that you're going to remember, like Roots the game for you. We're going to have it just be a traditional fantasy uh, adventure game, and Kyle, my illustrator, was said he was tired of working on traditional fantasy, so we started working on it with anthropomorphic animals. You go through all the normal paces with the game, but there were these like hints that we were onto something where we would uh, have playtesters over. They would sometimes ask to borrow our prototype so they could play it more and they would just bring it back in a couple days. It had never happened to me on any project I'd ever worked on. From the first Unplugged, people were really gelling with it, really liked it. Cole had been writing a lot of articles about the design of the game. The art had been really resonating well with people, so the campaign had a lot of momentum. We launched the Root Kickstarter, and it was it was the thing that potentially would save the company or you know at least stabilize it. And a real moment happened when we went to PAX Unplugged last year, and our demo tables were completely swamped. And I remember just looking at the Kickstarter totals for the day and seeing that like even before the 48 hour alert came out, you know, we were just sort of soaring. That Kickstarter turned things around for us financially. People were coming to the show and buying everything that we had at our booth. They would finish the demo and just boo doo doo and then walk away. And and we would, you know, we would be 60 or $80 uh, ahead of where we were when they started. Pax and Plugged had been instrumental in helping us kind of go way beyond our expectations. We've been so busy rushing from moment to moment to make sure we have financial stability that every show I've gone to has been very stressful in the sense that there's a lot of pressure on it to succeed. As luck would have it, we're fine, so getting to the show I feel really good and, and so it's been a lot of fun. Our own audience tends to skew more diverse and younger and that's exactly what you find at the PAXs. They're just, they're just better run shows. Talking to the other industry people, talking to the other insiders uh, while I'm here, that's been a lot of fun. And then just meeting the East Coast fans that I don't normally get to meet. At some of these big cons, there's a kind of line between like there are the fans and then there are the speakers and the, the people who are fond over. And at PAX you don't get that because fundamentally like everyone here is a fan.